The Sharks and West Tigers face off at Points Bet Stadium Friday night. I'm Paul Jodka, joined by the one and only Josh Mansour to preview this clash. And Josh, the Sharks have a big, big blow with their halfback Nico Hines out with an ankle injury after an accident at training. It goes from bad to worse, Paul, unfortunately, for the Sharks. Um, they're just in an absolute rut at the moment. Um, they can't get themselves out of it. Um, they're, they're searching for answers, but the frustration uh, thickens just because they're not getting any anything back. And yeah. they were very frustrated against the Titans last week. Um, things don't go their way and feel like they just really go uh, into their shell, mm. um, the Sharks. And mm. you know what, this could be a reset. Like, yeah. It might go the other way, you know. Like, yes, the, the spotlight's on Nico Hines as their star player and playmaker, but this could be a reset because they've been heavily relying on him. And, mm. um, you know, Nico, does, it's, it's obviously has had a bit of a dent in confidence with, um, you know, him being dropped from New South Wales and yeah. the Sharks not playing well. But this is a good opportunity for everyone to really lift mm. and uh, hopefully get him a win. Braden Trindle does enjoy having the number seven on his back. Yes, he does, yeah. So, um, yeah, they. I feel like they've been playing quite well together, particularly in the first part of the season. And then I feel like they were heavily exposed against um, Penrith, um, yes. about 42 Neil drubbing at uh, uh, Shark Park, and it was a bit of a you know brought back to reality kind of um, moment for them. But you know, it's there's still plenty of time. They're still comfortably in the top four positions mm. still, mm. Um, but they're starting to slip away, and they need to win this week. Yeah, they need to win. And the West Tigers, well, they might be last in the ladder, but their attack has definitely improved yep. in the past month. Benji might just be looking to fix the defence now. They've got back guys like John Bateman, Adam Dewey, David Clemmer, so that will help. Yeah, well, they're doing too much defence. Like, yeah. Too many errors, yeah. penalties, which is just compounding throughout the game, and they're just losing that bit of juice throughout, um, throughout that full 80 minutes. And, mm. you know, the Tigers, like you said, can rack up some points, but they're also leaking them as well. So they've had two big tests in the last uh, fortnight. They've had the Roosters and the Melbourne Storm. Hard game. So they'll be pretty battle-hardened, in my opinion, coming yeah. up against the Sharks. So uh, if there's one time to get the Sharks, they're right for the picking yeah. now. They did get them earlier this year at Leichhardt Oval. Yep. Deja Vu could be on the cards for the Sharks. Deja Vu, are you locking it in or will the Sharks be too strong? I'm going to go your Tigers, Paulie. Ooh. I can see you smiling already. Uh, I haven't won it, Shark Park, since 2014. Yeah, well, uh, <laughs> you know what? Every hoodoo's got to run out yep. or later, so yep. I feel like this is the opportunity for the Tigers to get back in the winner's circle and to pour some more misery on the Sharks. All right, thanks, Josh. I like it. No worries. <laughs> if you want to see the match live, head to nrl.com slash tickets. If you can't get to the game, you can still watch it on Channel 9, Foxtel, Sky New Zealand or KO. Kick-off is at 8pm.